Hey, you're 11. Welcome back. This is lesson 16. We're nearly done this um, topic on personal and social identity. Um, we're going to hit two dot points today. Um, I will warn you, this second one is boring as anything. Um, it's a bit dry, a bit of a snooze fest, but we'll just tackle it and get through it. Um, the, the first half's pretty good, so we'll just um, we'll start there. Um, it's on the same page of your syllabus as last lesson's work, so just head there. Um, what it's about and looking at um, is transitions through the life course. So what that sort of means is um, at different ages, obviously, you've got um, different periods in your life where you'll change. So obviously, we start off as infants and then we move through childhood, adolescence, adulthood, even even if you break it down into young adult, adult, middle age, elderly, grandparent, all that sort of thing. So we're looking at what are the rites and rituals of associated with sort of each of those transitions through the life course so there'll be more on that um, in lesson 17 but we'll just start with a broad focus looking at your adolescence um, so before we do I want to gauge an idea of the significance of these different rites and rituals in your own micro world so obviously all of these that I've written are relevant to your adolescent period so what I would like you to do is rank all of these. One being the highest and whatever number is at the end is your lowest. Um, and I just want you to rank them in order of significance to your micro world, okay? Not Joe Blow down the road or anyone else's. I want it to be about you. Um, once you have listed that, whatever is number one, can you explain the significance of that to you? So why that is number one and whatever is your lowest priority, can you also explain why it is? Okay, so that's the first activity. Second one is on slide three. So a lot of you guys as adolescents um, deal with a lot of retorts. Some you like, some you don't. We'll focus on the ones you don't. Um, such as do as you're told, get a job. When you're a bit older, you can do this. How would you know? You're too young. All that kind of thing. So what I want you to do is I want you to, without cussing, write your response um, to these statements. And I want you to analyze your own statements in response to these retorts by telling me, are they acknowledging power and authority or are they challenging it? Okay. Once you have done that, move on to this. This is the really dry bit. Um, I'll upload these pages um, along with this uh, lesson and I just want you to go through it and answer those um, questions. Okay. That's it for uh, lesson 16.